Well, there's another part of that story, as you saw the NWO stomping Sting, stomping Savage, stomping Luger, caught in that big net that dropped down. The other part of that story is, and we're going to show the fans later from Thunder, the same week, last week, where Hogan comes out and demands an apology to the Macho Man Randy Savage. He gets slapped in the face, and then when Luger met Ric Flair later on the same telecast, once again, Savage and Hogan get into it. I mean, the NWO is really falling apart, Brain. Oh, they're really falling apart, and especially since Hogan lost the World Championship to Sting. And with Bret Hart coming on the scene here at WCW. Everything's just falling apart for Hogan, Eric Bischoff, Paul and Nash. They lose the Tag Team Championship. Diamond Dallas beats Kurt Hennig for the United States title. I mean, a lot of things are happening to these guys. Now they declare war on all of us. They declare war on all of us as Big Rick Fuller comes out. But I really think war or not declared on the NWO, I really think this is just scare tactics by the New World Order to try to take the attention away from what's going to happen this Sunday. Because you know and I know, if Sting brings the world title to WCW, coupled with the problems they're having with the Macho Man Randy Savage, the NWO may just dissolve, fold up, implode. And you're right about that. Uh, as long as we hold on to all the championships, and as long as Sting is in the fold here, the Dusty Roses and the Hulk Hogan's and the Eric Bischoff in this world can get their own little commune someplace on a desert island and just live there forever and have National Hulk Hogan Day 365 of them. Tell them what a great guy he is. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Wow. Conan of the NWO and Rick Fuller. Lariat from one side, tumbling through, and then the other side. And he's out here with Vincent. What a duo they are, huh? Yeah, they're uh, a couple guys you want to see come to the door for an escort. Vincent, roundhouse right side of the head. Vincent, what a guy, huh? What an organization, this NWO. Chuck full of liars, backstabbers, cutthroats, cutthroats, egomaniacs, thieves, thieves. They deserve every rotten thing that's happening to them right now. And, you know, they, they deserve Randy Savage. I'm glad they got him. I'm glad he's disrupting things the way he is. And this Sunday, when Sting and Hogan get in the ring, I wonder how much disruption he will do. Well, Savage had the rough one first with Luger. You know, that's a no disqualification, and Luger's gonna have the same advantage as Savage has. front row dressed like the Serta mattress. I don't know these fans, and I wish you'd leave them alone. These fans are the reason that you're who you are. These fans have made you and me. You understand? Their dedication to our sport, their love for our sport has made us what we are. So leave them alone. Did I get in trouble if I ripped the tag off his shirt? <laughs> With the tequila sunrise on Big Rick Fuller. Back to stone brushes, Mr. Fuller. It's over. Conan will not let go. Vincent running interference for him here. He can get a, a fine levied on him here. A mean looking man, isn't he? Extra little crank there. Yes, I like that. You do? Yes, I like that. Shows tenacity. Shows he's a jerk. Man, we're going to take you back and show you the footage from Thunder we were discussing in a few moments, plus Diamond Dallas Page in our feature battle. But right now, this week in WCW Motorsports on Worldwide.